horses are on the track for race 10 at the Illinois State Fair. This an elimination for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. Top three will come back for the $55,000 final next Thursday. And one fourth place finisher to be drawn by lot. Scratch the two Holly Hill Amigo. He is a judge's scratch. Let's meet the starters for the 10th race. Win, play, show, and exact a wagering. Number one, Fancy Creek Sport, owned by Tony Alanya of Sherman, Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, and also owned by H. Carter, trained by Tony Alanya, Dale Heitman, and the bike. Scratch the two, Holly Hill Amigo. Three, Hayden's Big Mac is owned by George Winters of Carrollton and Reggie Winters of Jerseyville, trained by Reggie Winters. Sam Widger is up. Number four, Clever Fool is owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Brian Penske, Tony Morgan, and the bike. Five, Global Village is owned by Smith, Carp and the Horseman's Financial Agency Incorporated of Indiana and Illinois, trained by Amanda Smith, Dave McGee, and the bike. Six AR Muffler is owned by Kruger Farm of Medora, trained by Irv Miller. Andy Miller is the driver. Number seven, Mac Graham is owned by Tom Graham Jr. and his wife Shelley of Salem, trained by Tom Graham, Ken Holiday, and the bike. Number eight, Sports Messenger is owned by Schulfer, Buddis, Magnus, and Scavala of Illinois and Florida, trained by Mike Schulfer. It'll be Mike Osting who drives. And Cold Sweat is the nine, owned by HHH Incorporated, Fernanshire Racing Stable, Roger and Don Sampson Stable, and Penske Stable, trained by Brian Penske. Brian Penske will be driving Cold Sweat number nine. Scratch the two. Post time is coming up in just five minutes. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Mac Graham goes out for the lead. Hayden's Big Mac is there. Fancy Creek Sport is out third down toward the inside. Mac Graham boils out in the center of the racetrack and gets to the lead, tries to get over toward the rail. After the opening eighth mile, he does so. And Mac Graham is on top by two lengths around the turn. Fancy Creek Sport goes second. Hayden's Big Mac is third by two and a half. And then Clever Fool, who's in the fourth position, followed by A.R. Muffler in fifth, racing eight lengths off the lead, 27 and two for the opening quarter and then Global Village comes next as they hit the back stretch. Sports Messenger is next to last. Cold Sweat is last. Back up front they're being led by Mac Graham by a length and a half. Fancy Creek Sport is racing in second by five. Hayden's Big Mac is third by a length and a half. Then Clever Fool followed by AR Muffler, Global Village, Sports Messenger and Cold Sweat. They are halfway home and they're all chasing Mac Graham the half 56 and 3. Mac Graham leads it by a length and is followed closely by Fancy Creek Sport. Here comes Clever Fool up on the outside, followed by A.R. Muffler. Clever Fool goes to second. A.R. Muffler in the outer flow behind him around the turn. Global Village also out and moving up into fifth. Midway on the turn, Mac Graham leads at three parts of a length. Clever Fool is second on the outside of Fancy Creek Sport and is followed by A.R. Muffler, who's fourth and will have to come three wide, three lengths off the lead. Three quarters and 125 and two fifths. It is Mac Graham off the final turn, leading it by three lengths. Fancy Creek Sport, then Clever Fool, who drops back toward the inside. A.R. Muffler is still lingering on the outside. He's third, still a long way from Mac Graham. Mac Graham trying to go gate to wire. Global Village is coming late from far back. It's Mac Graham by five. Global Village to second. Mac Graham wire to wire. Mac Graham by a length. circle from Salem, Illinois, owned by Tom Graham Jr. and his wife Shelley, trained by Tom Graham, driven by Ken Holliday, Mac Graham. By the way, the trainer should read Tom Graham Jr. Let's talk to Tom Jr. Shelley, come on over here a moment. We've talked about the Graham family a lot today. Well, we have the next generation here in the winter circle. Buzz, who do you have here? I have Cole. You have Cole. That means, Shelly, you have? I have Seda Rose. Seda Rose. Cole and Seda, twins, 
Shelly, they were born what day? On July 22nd. Any truth that within, what, six days they were at the Marion County Fair at the harness races? Yeah, but it was in the winter circle. In the winter circle when they were six days old, in the winter circle today. Future horseman and horsewoman, no doubt. Buzz, Shelly, congratulations. Thank you, Kurt. Buzz and Shelly Graham from Salem.